Hello guys, it's the Inbox Lego Collecting Channel. I am the Inbox Collector. I hope you are all well. Guys, in this short and quick video today, I just want to do a breakdown of the sort of Lego deals you want to be looking for. The less we pay for our Lego when we're investing, the less risk there's involved should a set not take off, that sort of thing. I had a fantastic deal a couple of weeks ago. It's taken a couple of weeks for this Disney.co.uk order to come. Um, but I'm going to break it down for you and you can use these sorts of deals um, not just on Lego but you can use them in different places so I'm going to break it down for you and if you are not a Lego investor and you're just someone who collects Lego even you guys can save money on your Lego collections so this may help you guys out as well. So let's get into it. In this box I have set 40521. This is an absolutely amazing set. This is comes with an exclusive minifigure. It's the Disney Haunted Mansion due to expire December 2023 so this is on the retirement list um, and in this box I have three of these and they come with a recommended retail price of £35 over here in the UK I also have um, unrelated to Lego a singing in Cantle Doll. that'll be enough for that um, this is a free gift that I got for spending over £75 I'm gonna break the whole deal down for you right now so you guys can sound off in the comments and let me know if you think it was a good deal or not um, and hopefully you might pick up a few tips here and there from this video okay guys £125 recommended retail price however at disney.co.uk on this particular day if you spent £75 you got a free gift I picked this Disney Encanto doll it will make a perfect Christmas gift for my little niece Valentina I will be number one uncle my sister may hate me for buying a singing doll but it's not at my house so who cares um, yes yeah, so there we go we've got that free now we're down to the free Lego sets at hundred and five pounds recommended retail price however they also had a 25% off on this particular day it was a toy Tuesday you had to put a code in at checkout that brought these sets down to 78 pounds and 75 pence for the free or 26 pounds 25 pence each not bad but we could do better Quidco, the cashback app, were also offering 15% off if you went through their app. Now, it's worth bearing in mind, all cashback sites only give you a cashback percentage on the actual amount you're spending. You always have to consider there's 20% VAT or tax on anything you buy in the UK. So this brings it down by another £9.45 in total, bringing the total spend down to £69.30 which is absolutely amazing, I hope you'll agree, but it gets better. They also had, if you signed up on Quidco to a special offer, if you spent £50, which you'd need to have spent at least £60+, plus, which we're, we, we did, um, then you would get a um, £20 bonus cash back. The reason why I say you have to spend over £60 plus is because you've got to remember that VAT and you have to qualify and that's in the terms and conditions and a lot of people get caught out by that. So we got a further £20 off of our complete order, bring it down from £69.30 to £49.30 for the free Lego sets and the singing doll. That is the kind of deals you need to be looking out for when you're Lego investing. Um, I only wanted these. There was nothing else there that I that really took my fancy or I thought, yep, that's worth getting. But you could have used this against toys for the kids. Um, you could have used it against anything like that, basically, and saved yourself an absolute fortune. Quidco often have a sign-up bonus as well, where you get a £17 cash back if it's your first time signing up. So if you've never used it before, sign up. Now, it's the, my least favourite of all cashback sites. I've got to be honest. Quite often, even when it says it's tracked, it won't track, and you go back on and find it isn't there. If that happens to you, just put in the date you purchased, put in the order number, and all that stuff. It will take up to six months. I mean, it takes up to three months to get this kind of cash back that I'm talking about now. But it's definitely worth doing when you consider what this originally all would have cost. It would have cost at least £78.45 in total. And I managed to get it for £49.30. And 30. So there's a massive difference there. So it's worth doing. You have got to wait for your cash back. But if you have to do it manually, it just means it's going to take even longer while someone from Quidco looks over it. 
that's it guys a quick video just to show you the sort of deals sort of things that can be done i hope you've enjoyed it if you did hit that like hit subscribe turn on notifications check out my other videos share my videos i would really appreciate it um, help my channel grow guys until next time good luck searching for that lego gold